Hey everybody, welcome back to the Whiskey Cove, and on today's episode we fly it blind, where I try to figure out what's in my glass. Run the video. Alrighty then folks, warm welcome back to the channel, thank you for being a subscriber, or if you're not, consider being one. Hopefully you enjoy our videos and the content that we're putting out. So on today's episode, we're kind of starting up a new series, probably going to be putting out one of these videos once every two weeks, maybe a month, depending on how it's received. So this isn't an, an original idea, this is uh, something that you've probably seen if you are someone who watches a lot of whiskey videos. This is just me flying blind in a glass, my wife has poured me a whiskey in this glass, I have no idea what's in it and then I'm gonna try to break that whiskey down as best as I can. So the criteria that I'm looking for is gonna be what the proof is, what the type of whiskey is, if it's finished, how much I pay for it, a rating out of 100, and then ultimately if I can try to guess the whiskey. So just as a bit of a frame of reference, I have about 35 to 40 bottles of whiskey opened, but I have given my wife free reigns to open up any bottle of whiskey, apart from a few which I've labeled for her. So ultimately, this could be any whiskey of like 100 to 150 bottles. So a lot to kind of decipher from this whiskey. So let's kind of get into this and let's kind of pick it as part as best I can. So just looking at this glass, and she's given me a fine pour here, and it's a midweek uh, night as well. It is quite a dark whiskey. I'm hoping you can that comes up on the screen. It's looking like a deep brown, almost a mahogany in type. Uh, there's not too much lacing going on in the glass. It is there. It looks somewhat viscous there. Let's get into a nose on this and how I kind of, I've done these before, not on camera, where I've kind of tried to guess whiskeys. I think last Christmas, my wife put together me an advent calendar and kind of like how I kind of pick the type of whiskey this is almost like straight away from my first nose. I kind of get that idea straight away. So I'm, I'm almost going to try to guess the type of whiskey straight away. So let's see if I can pick it up. I think this is a bourbon straight off the bat. I believe this to be a bourbon. Oh, that could change, but I think just first off, that's what I'm going to go for here. Some of the nose in notes here. Definitely getting vanilla and rich caramel. It smells like there is like a nice candy note to this as well. Like a, can like a candy corn or caramel corn. It's almost kind of reminds me a little bit of Makers, if I'm completely honest. A really approachable nose right now. I'm not picking up too much proof here. Okay, let's go in for a taste, folks. The proof does not appear in the palate as well. I'm thinking this is around the 45%, possibly 50% ABV mark. I'm getting some oak spice on this. I'm almost sure this is a bourbon at this point, unless it's a really high corn rye, like the smoke wagon we did the other day. It has some similar notes to that smoke wagon, but I just don't think it's that. Let's go in for another taste here. I'm getting some really nice tannins there as well. I feel like this has a bit of age on it. Definitely a lot of that oak and oak spice that's coming through that I normally, that I normally get from whiskies of about eight years and older. This little finish here is pretty damn long. It kind of is like that, like I was saying, like a dry oak finish. Getting some, get a touch of bacon spices at the end. I don't think this is something like a wild turkey or a Russell's. So per, for proof, <clears throat> I'm feeling, I'm feeling about 50% ABV. So this could be bottled in bond. So I'm definitely keeping that in my mind. So I'm thinking 50% ABV, a bourbon. Finished, I'm saying no, I do not believe that it's finished. Uh, rating uh, out of 100, or no, let's do with how much I pay for this first. I'm gonna go in just in one more taste here on this. I'm gonna put, I would pay, I would pay $70 for this whiskey. So if it is bottled in bond, I think $70 is maybe a little bit high if you think of some bottled in bonds out there. Small batch, I would pay $60, $65 for MSRP is about $40. Henry McKenna's about a $50 bottle. Evan Williams bottled in bond is a $20, $20, $15 a $15 bottle. I hope this is Evan Williams. I need to get it as my daily drinker again. So question is, rating out of 100 of what I'll give this, 
I like this whiskey. I think it's a solid bourbon. I think it could do a little bit more in the finish there, but it's, I feel like it's a more of an aged whiskey than more of like a barrel proof complex whiskey. So out of 100, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a 73. I think that's a really solid score for this whiskey. And then what bottle do I think this is? So I said Maker's Mark at the beginning, and that kind of still rings true a little bit. But I think, I think I'm getting a little bit more aged than like a typical Maker's Mark. I think Maker's Mark are mostly, or like some of the specialty bottles are mostly like between five and nine years. So I, I think it might be a little bit older than that. But then if I'm thinking it's bottled in bond, then it's probably around six, five, six years. It needs to be at least four years. Let me just go for one more taste and then we'll come back with an answer. So I think this has some really rich notes. There's not too much going on there towards the back end of the body. There is a little bit of a finish through the hot kind of oak spice notes and like a really nice age there. So I think this is a toss up for me between, I think I allied to create 18, which I have. And I think that comes in at around about 46, 47% alcohol and maker's mark. Can also possibly be a buffalo trace like a well or 12 but i'm not picking up too much of those weirder notes so i think i'm going to stick to my guns and i'm going to stick to maker's mark i have the only open bottle maker's mark is i have maker's 46. i haven't i've been trying to keep my head down since i've been here in the whiskey cove whilst my wife was pouring these so i don't know if she's opened up any of the whiskey maker's marks above my head here but i don't think there's many that are above or below 50 or below i think they're all higher than that i don't have the 101 because that would have been a really good guess i don't think this is the makers 46 so from that i'm gonna go the elijah craig i'm just i'm gonna go to the elijah craig 18 just by the powers of deduction ec 18 that's my guess so to run through proof i said 50 percent type bourbon finished no how much i paid for it about 70 dollars if it's this if this is the elijah craig 18 70 dollars is less than half of its MSRP. Rated out of 100, I give it 73, and the bottle I chose is Elijah Craig 18. So I'm gonna pause the video because my wife has not left the answer down here, and I'm gonna go and find out what that bottle is. So give me a moment. Okay, those folks, so I have the answer, and I promise you I have not looked at this, and I have no idea what's in this class. I just hope it's a bourbon at least. So we, today I drunk, hmm, New Riff Malted Rye, six year. Here we go, this is the bottle. So a little bit off, uh, I feel like, with this bottle. There was some stuff which I got. Yes, it is 50% it is alcohol. Uh, it is not a bourbon, but it is 100% uh, malted rye, so not even close on the mash bill there. Finished, no, this isn't a finished whiskey. I'd pay $70. This is about a $50, $60 whiskey, so that's not that's that's about what i you know i've drunk quite a lot of this bottle so i'm surprised i weren't a little bit more familiar with the taste but i think i think 60 70 dollars is a very fair price for this bottle i that's what i would pay for if i hadn't get gotten it before so i think the price is pretty good on that rating out of 173 i think that's bang on what i think this whiskey is between 73 and 78 i'd give this out of 100 ball elijah craig 18 i said clearly not elijah craig 18 those spice notes, which I thought were coming from the oak, were, was coming from the rye spice there. A lot of stuff I got wrong, but like I said, 50% alcohol, I got that at the finish, no. I think all in all, even though I had the, uh, the type of whiskey way off, I feel like there was a lot of positives to come from that. Uh, I guess the darkness cake came come like from the rye spice. I thought it was an older whiskey. This is only six years old, so. Like I said, I think I misinterpreted the rye spice for age. I enjoyed this whiskey today. I didn't get the pick right, but I think I was close in some aspects. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. That's all we have time for. We'll see how this video is received. I kind of want to do these maybe once or twice a month. I think this is a really fun thing to do. Like I said, not an original thing. A lot of people are doing them out there, but hopefully you enjoyed my expression on my version of it. And then hopefully moving forward, I'll think of something fancy, I guess, to call it. But for now, I think we'll just call it Flying Blind. Again, my name is Patrick. As we drink through the world's whiskeys one glass at a time, cheers. Unbelievable. A ride. Come on.